Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. Star Latulale looks like his heart has checked out, and it won't be an issue for many teams uh, looking to select him in the 2013 NFL Draft. Uh, there's some mock drafts that have him going as high as number three uh, to the Oakland Raiders, and you know I actually have him rated as the number three defensive tackle prospect in this draft, uh, behind Shari Floyd from. Florida and Sheldon Richardson from Missouri. Uh, with Latulale, you know, I get the fact that he's a he's a, he's a freak of an athlete. He's a very big man, very mobile. Um, I get his attributes and why people are intrigued by him. Uh, but I, I look at the fact that uh, and put his heart condition aside because I'm not even going to get into that because it looks like that's been checked out medically and, and is and is uh, not going to affect his stock. But I think what will affect his stock is when you look at the tape of, of Latulale is the uh, his overall motor. Uh, not motivated to play every play. Uh, also, the fact he, this guy's only had seven sacks in four seasons uh, as a as a collegiate, and uh, to me, you know, those are red flags. Uh, what's also a red flag, again, is the fact that the guy um, all but quit football uh, not too long ago during his college career. Quit football, came back. Um, you know, th that's not a that's not the kind of guy. Given that the fact that he lacks a motor sometimes. Uh, and the fact that, you know, let's put it this way, you're getting a run stuffer when you get him. You're not getting a guy who's a prolific pass rusher like an Indomitian Sioux, let's say, who was, who was a very good pass rusher at Nebraska. You know, he was taken in the top five. That's the kind of guy we're talking about here, and I don't think Latulale is that guy. Um, I think you know, the, the team that first team that has a glaring need at defensive tackle in this draft is the Raiders at number three, and I think they take Shari Floyd um, over Latulale uh, mainly because of, you know, the fact that Floyd is just more consistent. If you watch him on a play in, play out basis, he's more consistent. I think he fits very good in the Raiders 4 3 system, uh, which is why I sort of favor him a little bit over Sheldon Richardson at three here for the Raiders. And, you know, with Latulale, there's way too much risk for a team like the Raiders to take when they need quality bodies, quality guys that they can count on to start from day one. And I think Floyd gives them that a little bit more than Latulale gives them, you know, for the reasons that I mentioned. Uh, if you need a run stuffer, though, like if you're a team, let's say, like the Saints at 15 if he gets that far, maybe even the Titans at pick number 10, uh, certainly the Panthers at pick 14, that's when I think Latulale has a little bit of value. Uh, I expect, you know, maybe, uh, you know, Sheldon Richardson and Starr to go, you know, as the next defensive tackles taken. We'll see which teams uh, value uh, each guy, uh, who they favor. Um, but again, my clip, my top three is Floyd number one, Richardson number two, and Starr number three. Only Floyd over Richardson because I think he fits more from a scheme perspective in a lot of the different uh, four three schemes uh, that teams use. I think you, in a, you could also use Floyd in a three four. And again, I just like the consistent effort. Um, and execution and production that you get from Floyd just over a guy uh, like a Latulale, uh, who, again, I think is just going to be, at, at best, a very, very good run stopper in the league. Um, but when you pick in the top five, you're looking for a guy to give you a little bit more than that, to be able to rush the passer, to be able to give consistent effort, and to be a building block of a defense. And, uh, you know, again, I think Floyd is going to be that guy for the Raiders. We'll see how the, the you know the rest of the teams with those defensive tackle needs. Again, whether it's the Panthers, who I think have a clear need, I think then they take Star or Sheldon Richardson definitely with that 14th pick. If either one of those is still available, which I think at least one of them will be, I think the Titans are a sneaky team to watch out there with an interior lineman, and also uh, maybe even the Saints as well switching to that 3-4. Maybe they think Star is a guy who could help them as well. But let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, if you listen to my uh, my prospect analysis on Latula Lay I, I posted months ago, you know, I had said that these were concerns I had from him then, still do now. Um, but again, you know, his his measurables are so freakish that would I would I be shocked to see the Raiders take him? Uh, I wouldn't be shocked, but I'd be a little bit surprised because I think they need a guy they could depend on, plug and play from day one, and be a building block again for that defensive line, which you know, is, is pretty much decimated at this point. But let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. Guys, I'll be, um, uh, I have a playlist here that I have linked on this page to over, you know, I think 40 draft videos that I've done here. I've done needs analysis for all 32 teams as well. So be sure to check those videos out. Be sure to subscribe. Um, I post videos all day, every day. I posted over 400 sports talk videos here on YouTube. So be sure to check those out. Thanks again for listening. And have a great day.